Okay, my Kayla crew, today I have a short story box to share with you. Now, it's been a while since I've shared a short story box on my channel. I've received some short story boxes since the last time I shared my box with you, but short story, you have five days to check out, and I receive a ton of boxes. I do a ton of shopping, and sometimes I just find it hard to squeeze in before it's time to check out. So I thought, you know what? Let me make it a priority to film my short story since it's been a while. So let's jump in and see what I got in this month's box. Okay, I've got the first two pieces on. We're going to start with the top, which is by Meadow Shop. They're calling this the Terrazzo Print Woven Tea in Ivory Abstract. They did size me up to a 1X and it is $49. The fabric is 100% polyester. The tag says you have to hand wash this in cold water. I personally would put this in the washing machine on a gentle cycle in cold water and I think it would be just fine. But if you're very careful and you are worried about messing it up, follow the tag instructions. Don't follow my instructions. And you can't, oh, this was made in the USA, which is really nice. I actually think we have a couple of pieces in this box that were made in the USA. This top is too big for me. I probably could have gone with a large in this top because um, I think, yeah, it's very roomy. See, it looks cute like this. But when it's like this, I kind of feel like I'm wearing, you know, when you go to the doctors and they ask you to put on like a, one of those you know, paper gowns. It kind of reminds me of the shape of that. Um, but I think, you know, the right size, it would be cute. The colors are really pretty. I want to come close so you could see the pattern. It's a kind of like an animal print pattern. Well, in my eyes it is because you guys know I love my animal print. I'll call anything an animal print if it's remotely close to looking like it. <laughs> um, it's got the really pretty colors in it too. It's kind of got like a green to match the pants I have on. There's some burgundy, there's some tan, a nice rounded neckline. Um, the sleeves are cuffed and they came sewn. So they are sewn cuffed like that. Good upper arm coverage if you don't like to show your arms. So yeah, I think it would be cute in a smaller size. I don't know that I need a top like this right now, so I'm gonna send it back. I'm not gonna try to exchange this one. Let me show you the back of it. I think it's a bit longer in the back too. So yep, too big, going to go back. All right, I think what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera down and talk about the jeans. And then I'm going to change into the other pair of pants because this top goes with both pairs of pants. So let's change and <laughs> let me turn the camera down and we'll talk about the first pair of pants. Okay, so let's talk about the first pair of pants. These are by Democracy. They're calling these the Absolution Itty Bitty Boot Cut in Dark Teal. They did send me a size 16 petite and they are $84. The fabric is 52% cotton, 32% polyester, 13% rayon, and 3% spandex. You can machine wash these in cold water on a gentle cycle, and they were made in China. The color is so pretty. I just don't know how much I'd pull for a color like this. What do you think, for $84? But I really like the fit of them. They're really comfortable. I love my Democracy jeans. Um, there aren't, they are more of a high-waisted jean. They do have your classic five-pocket style. You know what? I thought they did. They do have your classic five-pocket style. You know, your classic fly area with the zipper and the button. Um, yeah, and I think the length is really good, too. I throw in a pair of, you know, heeled booties with them. Oh, I got to pull up the back of the top so you can see how it fits in the back. I think the fit is really good. What do you think about them? I'm just not sure how often I'd pull for this color. So I, I always think cost per wear. I'm willing to pay a little bit more for items that, you know, fit really well. They're comfortable. But I, you know, I'm just not sure. I do really like this. I probably should just go through my closet and see what I have to pair with this color and then make my decision. Because, like I said, it's hard for me to find, you know, you guys know earlier this year I was trying to find colored denim that fit well and looked good. And, you know, I think it might be worth paying a little bit more because, oh, the sun, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, the sun is good. We have good lighting. I have my ring light on, but I have some good natural light. But sometimes it's a little bit too much with the rays of sun. There we go, though. <laughs> and since I'm 5'2", it could be hard for me to find a good pair of boot cut pants that fit well. And I think the length of these is great. What do you think? So, yeah. I'm going to have to watch back and see, and I'm also going to go through my closet. I mean, of course, this would go with all of like your, you know, whites, your beige sweaters, your black sweaters, your tan sweaters. 
So yeah, I'll just have to kind of play around to see what I have in my closet to go with them. All right, I'll be right back. I think we're gonna talk about the next pair of pants next. Okay, so let's talk about the next pair of pants. These are by Margaret M. They're calling these the Ponte Skinny with Zipper. They're in the color Merlot and they are in a size extra, extra large petite. They're $89. The fabric is 68% ring on, 27% nylon and 5% spandex. You can machine wash these in cold water and they were made in China. So I think they're a really great pant for work. They fit really well. They're super comfortable. They're just a pull on pant. They don't have any like zippers or buttons, which is nice because you know, sometimes when that hand happens here you get some bulk from that area which you want with these pants the length is good you know I threw on some lighter colored mules because of the shirt that I had on but I'd probably wear some darker booties or even my animal colored booties or my animal print booties I should say with these pants they're calling them the zipper pant because they do have the zipper on the side they're not pockets or anything like that right here they just have that zipper detail on both sides I'll zoom in so you can see the zipper detail right there there you go so hopefully you could see that. Um, they are a good length too. On the bottom, they have a tiny, tiny slit. I'll try to zoom in so you could see that as well. So yeah, I love the color. I know they're a little bit pricey, but with these cost per wear, I think I'd get a lot of use out of them. You know, I work in an office five days a week and four out of the five days, we have to wear business casual, you know, clothing. And so I'm thinking for, I get probably, I don't know, two or three wears per month. I probably wear them once a week, especially in the fall, because I love the color. They're really, really comfortable. Oh, I gotta show you the back. As long as they look right. Oh, I gotta, can you see the back? There you go. See, so yeah, I kept it on with this blouse because of the colors and you know what they sent in this box, but I have a ton that would match this. So yeah, I think they're cute. The length is good. Yeah, I think these are a keeper. You guys let me know what you think and I'll be right back. We'll talk about the next item. Okay, next up we have this dress, which is by Gilly. They're calling this the Lawn Sleeve Surplice Mini Dress with Ruffle. The color they're calling Plum Blush Ditzy. They did size me up to a 2X and it is $68. That's not a bad price though for a dress because you're really getting a complete outfit. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex and then the lining is 100% polyester. The tag says to hand wash this in cold water. I'm throwing this in the washing machine and it was made in Guatemala. So I really like it. I think it's a really pretty like fall dress. It would be great to wear to work. I want to come close so you could see um, the neckline. So it's got a nice V neck. Um, it's got the modesty snap whoops I'm gonna pull it up a little bit you know I think it might be a little bit big I'm tempted to size down but it's got this modesty snap closure which is nice and secure right there you can see the really pretty print with the plum in the background the blush and the floral print so yeah really cute and then here's the sleeves let's see it's a little bit you know I think the sleeves are a tad bit big what do you think should I size down? It does have the elastic here at the waistband. Um, it's got that like that wrap style on top, the surplus style. So yeah, it's a little bit stretchy here with the elastic. Um, they're calling it a mini dress, but I don't think this is a mini dress. It hits me right at about my knees. I think it's super cute. They're saying with ruffle. Look at the bottom. Oh, how cute. So at the um, hemline, it's this ruffle detail. So it kind of comes up a little bit. I'm going to pause and I'm going to zoom in. Hopefully you'll be able to see the ruffle detail. If not, I'll show you during the recap. How cute is that? I love this dress. I think it would be cute with some booties, even some tall boots. And then as it gets cooler, maybe throw on some tights. What color booties? Maybe the tan that I had on before. Maybe some brown. I have a pair of brown booties that I got in a Stitch Fix uh, freestyle order. So yeah, I think it's cute. Let me show you the back. Should I size down or should I keep it in the size that they sent me? It's not too big. I'm worried if I size down, it might be, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna email them and see if I size down and it doesn't work. Could I exchange back for this size? Because this size isn't bad. I really like this dress a lot. I think it's a cute work dress. But I think even if I get it in, oh, these darn hanger tags. I was watching my intro back and you notice the hanger tag was sticking out. I almost refilmed it. And I'm like, you know what, Kayla, don't refilm it <laughs> for just the hanger tag. Um, but I'm thinking it might be better 
you know, it might not be as low cut if I stick with, or if I go with the 1X. You guys let me know what you think. It's a really cute dress. All right, let's move on. I have one more piece to share with you. Okay, so next up we have this top by Gilly. They're calling this the Long Sleeve Solid Rib Knit Top in Rust. They did size me up to a 2X, which was a good choice for this one. This top is $48. The fabric is 76% polyester, 21% ring on, and 3% spandex. You do have to hand wash this in cold water according to the tag. I would put this one in a garment bag just because I would want to prevent it from pilling, um, but I would put it in the washing machine on a gentle cycle, and it was made in the USA, which is really nice. So the color is gorgeous. I don't own much in this color for fall and I think this would be a great piece to add to my wardrobe. This looks good alone. It would look cute with like a nice statement necklace. It would also look cute, you know, layered under a vest. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I like the length of it. Um, I like the neckline. It's got an interesting neckline. It's almost like a, um, you know, a <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? A square neckline, but it's kind of rounded a little bit too, isn't it? The only thing is I have to hide my bra straps. Whoops. I just pulled it and then showed you. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it'd be okay. I don't think it would show too much. Um, it is ribbed throughout. I'll bring it close so you could see. So yeah, I think it's a cute top. Oops, there we go. Sometimes with this color, like with reds, it just makes my skin look strange. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but it kind of like, I don't know, sometimes I notice it glow and then sometimes I'm like, there's strange shadows when I'm trying on this color in you know, the ring light. So I don't know what it is with this color. Um, but yeah, I like the fit of this top. This might be a good top. Monday is Halloween. Maybe I'll keep it and wear it to work. Let me show you the back of this one. Yeah, I think it's cute. What do you think? I was really happy with the colors in this box. So yeah, I think this one might be a keeper too. All right, I'll be right back and we'll do a recap. All right, I thought this was a great short story box. The colors were gorgeous. I love the styles and I have some keepers. So I think this is what I've narrowed it down to. Look at those pretty full colors. So gorgeous. The Margaret M pants will be great for work. I know they're a little bit pricey, but I always think cost per wear and I'll definitely get a lot of use out of them. The dress, I think the dress is so cute. Something different to add to my closet, a nice fall dress for work. And I'll get a lot of use out of that. And then this orange top. I really love the color of this one, the rust. They're calling it rust. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one too. I was thinking about the democracy jeans, but they're $89 and I'm, you know, I'm okay with paying a little bit more because I'm paying more for these, but I'm just not sure I'd reach for them enough to pay that much for them. So you guys let me know. They were really cute. I loved the color. The first top is going back. It was just too big. What do you think about the, oh, should I exchange the dress? I'm still on the fence. I'm not sure if I should try a smaller size. I'm really stuck on that one. So I'm going to watch back, try it on again and see. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.